Hi everyone, welcome back to this devlog style thing of wherever I just show off whatever I just made. Uh, it's been a little bit since I worked on this. Uh, I've been busy with some other things, but I decided to come back to it today and work on it some. Um, really the only things I've really done is made some slight modifications to the play themselves uh, in terms of just their sprite itself. There is a proper uh, idling and walking uh, sprite. Uh, I am using, let me find it here. You can hear the lightning out there. I'm using uh, JoyQuest RPG Game Kit. I'm using the demo that they have. Jesus Christ. I'm using the demo that they have um, just for the player sprite. I also want to try and use the um, tile sets that they have just so that way I can start experimenting with collision, movement around, and that interaction. In preparation for that, one of the things I worked on was just a pop-up style text uh, for like hints. Um, if there's, you know, just you want to talk to somebody, it's just an NPC that just has like one line. Instead of bringing up a whole text box for it, you can just do that. And Or for if there's a cutscene or you are talking and you want um, kind of like in Persona 5 where you're on the train and there's a little dialogue pop uh, dialogue pop-ups from what the different people in the train are saying. Um, I also just did some basic reorganization. It looks a lot better now because <laughs> it used to be everything was just all in one thing. It all looks a little bit better now. Um, but I initially had the pop-up dialogue. I just put it part of the dialogue system but I ended up um, making it its own thing just so that way in the event that I wanted to create one of these, I just have it be an auto load singleton um, using a new uh, auto load script, which I just have as game utils. Uh, for that, all, all I'd have to do to call it is I just call display pop up. I have the text itself that you want to display, the position, and then however long you want to display there. I'll probably make some changes because right now all it does is just completely just disappear. Uh, I also want to try and experiment it so that way when it does that tween of going, getting up to the proper size, it uh, will go in the middle both ways. Um, but I also just use Godot's basic nine patch rectangle texture. Um, I use that for the, oh, I, I also, found something I really hate about Godot. I can undo adding an auto load singleton. I don't know why that's a thing. It is dumb. It is really dumb that you're just able to remove a auto load singleton that you do. It is so annoying. I, it's like the third time I've done it because it's like, I think I make some change to something, but then I don't. So um, for the actual popping up the dialogue itself, um, you can kind of see I made some notes from here myself, but essentially what it is, is first we just get whatever the text itself is. Um, and then we then are going to get the size of it. Now, when you put in text, the size of it does adjust as long as you don't have clip contents enabled. Um, and so the thing, the problem, the main problem I was running into is the sizing of the label itself. It does not adjust until the end of the frame. Uh, I think it is whenever it does its uh, like the draw um, loop or whatever. I'm not too entirely sure, but luckily I was just able to get around it by just doing a call deferred. I didn't have to do anything else that have to wait, so I just call defer and then do the rest of it. And then I just have a simple. I just create a simple timer for removing it. Here's the tween that I have where I just I automatically set the the vertical size and then I change the horizontal size I just tween it over the half a second and again text position and duration are all just adjustable here uh, and so that's kind of just mainly what I've worked on not a whole lot but I mean overall I kind of I kind of like the way it turned out uh, I, I initially started doing because again I just wanted to work on um, tile maps and tile sets messing with that collision seeing it because again i plan on using this um this asset pack already here for the demo um and then you know 
from there maybe you end up buying the base one depending on how much I like it um, but there's other quite a few because I want to just kind of start experimenting with that I want to start experimenting with those environmental interactions how those interactions will change the environment uh, either temporarily or permanently um, and so I'm also going to eventually start experimenting with save and load systems there is a video I don't remember who it is uh, I think it's the go to near yeah go to near he has nope. a whole I, I kind of uh, clicked through a lip um, but he has an hour-long um, video on going through it and this guy just overall has a ton of tutorials on different systems within Godot for like UI uh, components shaders uh, I think he's also just started doing just a tutorial on GDScript itself the main guy that I went to when starting to learn Godot uh, if I can type it Brano I think is what his name was yeah and you know he's he's been working on uh, he recently did one of his games um, he released it I, I guess it didn't go very well but I used his survivors clone to kind of learn Godot because it has a lot of different stuff about it um, from a top-down perspective and I've kind of been reusing some of his stuff on there um, but I know there's there's a bunch of different tutorials but those are some of the ones that I've been I've used uh, and currently still using um, so I'm gonna keep working on this this isn't for any sort of specific project I've been working on it's just experimenting with things in Godot, seeing what I can do seeing what I can't do and just continuing to learn that's that's the objective here is just to continue to learn new things cause myself to be able to think about what I want to do plan it like just like how I did with the pop-up dialogue is like I typed out what I was going through and it was like okay what are some of the problems like how how do we have the node show up and send the parameters I was initially going to do a function call or a signal and then I just create a singleton auto load and then just instantiated it as a new node and just uh, added it to the scene um, and then you can see I also ran into the problem of adjusting the size at the end of the frame um, so again it wasn't a big problem just a nuisance so I kind of I kind of talked to myself in my comments to do it later down the line I'll probably end up removing these um, but it's just nice to kind of keep up here and be like what what was my th thought process going back there you know what was I thinking about what are some problems so that way if I'm coming back down here I can be like okay past me knew this was a problem so i need to keep this in mind if i'm making adjustments to this or you know like how i'm saying it has to wait till the end of the frame i'll be like why is this being deferred why why would we do that why aren't we just doing it now you know so that's one thing i my comments aren't the best in terms of an actual documentation standpoint it's mainly just doing it since i'm really the only one that's reading my code i have i have mine on GitHub. Let me see. Uh, I'm trying to remember how I just pull it up here. I don't think I'm able to just easily pull it up. Um, but like, I just have mine on GitHub. Like, if you want to come and look at it, it's I just have it right here, um, where it's everything I've been doing. So if you want to come in here and take a look at what it is, um, so that way, if you know you're, if you yourself are working on a project, and it's like, oh. You know, I want to work on this. How did this guy do it? You know, how did I do it? And then see what you can do to make improve it, make it better, or adjust it for your own needs. You know, like some of this is going to work for me. Uh, some of it probably won't work for you. Some of it is just plain awful and needs to get rewrote. And I am aware of that. And I'll do that later in the future, eventually.